A list of rituals to invoke Hypnos, the god of sleep. Before anything else, you can simply breathe. Hypnos, the god of sleep, is summoned first and foremost by the sound of the human breath. The rhythmic rise and fall of your chest is a conjuring in and of itself. You can abstain from cannabis, from coffee, you can run three miles a day and drink nothing but water. You can light incense and let it burn while you fester in your sheets. Everything puts you to sleep eventually. You can brew a tea from the roots of a poppy. You can unspool the sweater your mother knit you, and with its wool, weave a new shawl, the exact weight and shape of your lover's arms. Proper worship demands sacrifice. What are you least willing to give up? Break it with your own dreamless teeth. It's no coincidence that insomnia mimics prayer, the repetition, the desperation, the obsession with voice regardless of its efficacy. Everyone knows that Hypnos, the god of sleep, is the son of Nyx, the night, and Erebus, the darkness. With this in mind, you can welcome any shadow that crosses your threshold. Welcome it, and he may mistake it for family. Barring that, your options are limited. You can shatter every bright bulb in the city. You can renounce light. You can go to the same bar again and again to visit all your friends with their long, slender necks, their citrus perfume and liver ridicule, the ritual weight of a glass bottle tipping over. It may work for a while, but ultimately, if you won't be seduced by vinegar or honey, the only option left is fire. There are no halfway martyrs here, only more potent prayers, new sacraments with names dreamt up in white rooms, trazodone, zolpidem, lorazepam, these small and brooding knots slipped on the tongue, and though you may fear the of benzene. No weapon formed against this bond will wake you. Dreamer's Eucharist, nightmare covenant. Inside this tiny disc, you can lose yourself in prayer, become so devoted to the practice that you forget the God. Hear the altar and hear the lamb to slaughter. Your mind, a single hymned choir. And at last, he comes, he conjures, he magics the night, and you will know his presence like a miracle in reverse. You and your fouled holy water, your insignificant offerings. You will know that there is no sacrifice you can give that would give you any kind of rest you'd want to have. But nevertheless, the God comes, pulling your mind over your body until it is a film so thin you can see through it, see into the cave where he lives, Hypnos, the God of sleep, and he will smile, his teeth white and cratered as a wicked moon, and they just might put you down in a flash, a flicker that'll leave you down for good. <laughs>